Hi guys, um, I'm going to solve this next problem and well there's only two terms so you know it's a difference or a sum of cubes and there's a plus here in between the two signs so it must be a sum. But then you notice this negative in front of the a or in front of the leading coefficient is a. Um, I mean not an a but negative one. Okay. Um, we're going to try to avoid that. And since this equation is set equal to zero, you can do that. You can just divide everything or all the terms by negative one, and you end up with an 8x cubed minus 125 equaling zero. Now, we could also look for the GCF. 8 is made up of two twos, 125 is not, I mean three twos, 125 is not divisible by 2, so we don't have a GCF, but what we have here is a difference of cubes, and a difference of cubes, a cubed minus b cubed equals a minus b, a squared plus a b plus b squared. Factors as into this formula right here. Um, first, we're going to find out what a is, what a equals, um, and then we're going to find out what b equals. Now, a is the cube root of this. So 2 times 2 times 2 equals 8. That's what that is. And x times x times x equals x to the third. Now, how about the cube root of 125? Remember, you have to exclude the signs. Do not include the signs here. Because the formula already has negatives. Okay, so we're just taking the digits, not the signs. If you take the sign um, and do a cube root of negative 125, that would be a negative 5. And if I put a negative 5 here, we'll have a, we already have a negative. So a negative and a negative is a positive. You don't want to do that. And so... Right here, it's just a 5 because 5 times 5 times 5 is 125. Remember, I also told you it's helpful to do a squared. So I'm going to do 2x to the second, which is 4x squared, b squared, which is 5 squared, which is 25. And then it's also helpful to do a times b, which is 2x times 5 which gives you 10x. Now we're all set to put it into our formula. Okay, let's go ahead and put it into our formula. So we have 2x minus 5, a squared, which is 4x squared, plus 10x plus 25, and this is set equal to 0. Let's go ahead and split it right here. We have 2x minus 5 equaling 0 and a 4x squared plus 10x plus 20, whoops, 5 equaling 0. I can solve, let's go ahead and solve the left side. So x equals 5 halves. And this side, let's go ahead and use a discriminant here, b squared minus 4ac determine what we have to do. 10 squared minus 4 times 4 times 25. Let's see, that's 100 minus 16 times 25. Let's go ahead and do that on the calculator real quick. 16 times 25 equals 400. 400 and that's a negative 300. So we know that that's not going to work out, okay? And so, or it's not going to factor. So I have to use a quadratic formula. Sorry, guys. We, I mean, the discriminant is pretty helpful. Um, it it just tells you what to how to deal with this. And then also after you take the discriminant, all you have to do when you're putting it into the quadratic formula, you don't have to do the stuff underneath the radical. You know, it's just four and then it's already been done for you just pop it right in and then negative 10 plus or minus and then we have a negative so that's an i um, 
300 is made up of 100 times 3. This is made up of a 10 times 10. And so it's 10 times 10 times 2, 3. We don't have to do the prime factorization because we found a perfect square in it. And so it is 10 to the square, 10i to the square root of 3 over 8. Negative 10, 10 and 8 are all divisible by 2. So x equals negative 5 plus or minus 5i to the square root of 3 over 4. And 5 halves. Don't forget the five, ha 5 halves. 3 roots. And we're done, guys. Good job.